Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Vicious, and today it's tutorial time. Today's tutorial is coming from a question that I found on the XSplit forums. Let me go ahead and read it. This was posted by the user Epinence. It says, hi there, I'm currently trying to figure out what converter would be the best choice for me when converting from FLV to AVI. I tried out the Zillow Soft converter, but the quality turned out horrible. Any suggestions? Alright, hi Epinence. Here's the answer to your question. The problem was in your workflow. You tried out the Zillow Soft Converter, and it just so happens that the Zillow Soft Converter and almost any other of those all-in-one converters that you can download and use off of the internet are actually going to be taking your file and re-encoding it, recompressing it, and converting it to a new format that it likes to use. It does this because it wants to be as compatible as possible. It knows if I take a file and I convert it into this set format and send it out as a new B file that you're going to get a file that works. But it doesn't know that you're not trying to do that. You're just trying to change the container. Simply speaking, FLV is your container. AVI is your container. MP4 is your container. They are just simply holding the file of the audio and video within. And you'll see here on this wiki page, there's lots and lots of containers. Here's AVI, here's FLV, here's MKV, MP4. Each one of them has different pros and cons. It has support different things. So what we want to do, if you read this forum post a little bit further down, I found the problem was this user wants to use the FLV files created by XSplit and use them in Sony Vegas. If you try to drag and drop an FLV file into Sony Vegas, this is what happens. None of the files dropped in Sony Vegas could be opened. And that's because Vegas, for whatever reason, does not support the FLV container. But I can tell you that all of these files are actually encoded with H.264 and AAC. You can see it right there when I mouse over. These codecs are supported by Sony Vegas. We just need to change the container. What we do not want to do is what the Zillisoft converter was doing and re-encoding your audio and re-encoding your video. Losing quality and also it uses up a lot more time because there's no need to re-encode your video again which uses of computer resources. Alright, so let's get started on the actual tutorial on what we're going to do. What we're going to be doing is simply ripping these files out of this FLV container and then putting them back into a new container. We're going to use MP4 instead of AVI because it's a better container, it's newer, and it works with pretty much everything. We're going to need to go to Google and we're going to download some tools. I want you to, I'm just going to show you how to get to these pages. Go to Google and type in FLV Extract and this After Dawn page is a good link here. We're going to be downloading FLV Extract version 1.6.2. We're going to go back to Google and type in YAM. And the first link here, the Unite Video link is good. This is the home page. It says a new beta is out. It came out in 2009, so that's nice and new. <laughs> Get the uh, beta 2 with installer. And media info is something that I use to tell me some information on my video. You can go get that as well if you'd like, but we only need these two right now. So we should have a folder that contains FLV extract and YAM. YAM has to be installed, so install that. Um, beware as you're installing it that it has little checkboxes that you can uncheck to uh, have it install like plugins and stuff for your browser. You know how a lot of free programs have um, stupid spamware and stuff? that you are not required to install if you pay attention so make sure you pay attention and do not install that FLV extract however just runs you don't have to install this so we're going to go ahead and open up this and I'm going to run FLV extract and we just get a nice little box that says drop your FLV files here output files are written to the same folder as the FLVs easy right so here's my FLV files from XSplit and I'm just going to drag one and drop it on top and it's done. It takes that long because we're not re-encoding anything. We just ripped it out. So here is what was actually inside of that FLV file. There is an H.264 video track. This is your video. And there's an AAC audio track. We'll go ahead and close this now. So we got our raw streams. That's what these are called. This is your raw formats. And now the next thing we need to do is put them inside of a new container. And that's where YAM comes in. So we're going to run the new YAM, and we're going to go to the Creation tab, and we're going to create an MP4 file. Double click on that. And for the MP4 creation, just drag and drop. 
So we're going to drag and drop the video file, H264. We're going to drag and drop our audio file. And here is the last thing you need to know. Your frame rate for your video is not contained in your raw video file. Your container that you keep the video file in actually is what tells your computer, your video players, and everything else what the frame rate for that video is. So here's what's going to happen if you try to just go to next and create this file. EM is going to be nice enough to tell you, you must set a frame rate for raw AVC streams, otherwise the program will just use the default value of 25. I can tell you that my videos from XSplit are recorded at 30 frames per second, and therefore I would get a problem if I use the default of 25. What I have to do to fix this is click on my video file and go to properties, and under frame rate I'm going to type in 30. And now if I go to next, it's going to import the video stream, it's going to import the audio stream and it's going to write it to an mp4 file and we're done and yes we'll go ahead and quit yam so here we go guys this is an mp4 file if we go into sony vegas you'll see that it drags and drops just fine everything that was originally there is now just there with a new container and it will all work perfectly with your video editor or anything else you need to do it with you didn't re-encode anything you didn't lose any quality and you did it nice and quick and easy the media info, the optional link, normally I would tell you to right click your file and go to info. That way you can find out your frame rate and stuff. But for some reason, XSplit is telling these files that they have a frame rate of 1000, which is not true. <laughs> so you just have to know what your frame rate is. Mine's 30 frames per second. All right, so that would answer the question today. How do you change the container? Instead of I actually changed the tutorial question. Instead of converting a file, I showed you how to change the container because that's actually what you want to do. So how do you change a container on a file? With free tools, quick and easy, so that you can edit files that you've created from XSplit or files that you have on your computer from other sources. So I hope you guys found that useful. This is Vicious, and I'll see you later.